What's up guys, I'm Satino and um, you guys are watching Sidecore Fishing Guy, you know, I used to have like, own those fishes like BAM 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 Yeah, it's like the claw, you know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, you're watching his Fishing Guy Hey what's up guys, I've got here for you a brand new guide and my last guide was one for mining in the Living Rock Caverns and I had a whole bunch of people send me messages saying oh you should try fishing in these Living Rock Caverns and um, so thank you all for your messages I didn't reply to any of them because I had quite a lot asking for the same thing so and I just wanted to let you know that I really appreciate the messages I'm not going for 99 fishing or anything I just decided to make this uh, as a sort of guide or review um, so I hope you find it helpful Alright, so I'm going to jump right in and tell you the requirements, what you need to start fishing in this place. There are two type of fishing. The first one is cave fish. You will need level 85 to start catching these, and the equipment you'll need is a normal fishing rod and normal bait. The next type of fish are rock tails, and they require level 90 fishing. And these require not normal bait, but a special bait called living minerals, which you can buy from the Grand Exchange. This video is going to be a lot similar to my mining guide, so I apologise if you've already watched that video, because this video is going to seem a lot similar to it. But for those who have never been to the Living Rock Caverns before, I'm going to really quickly show you how to get there. Teleporting to Falador is probably your best option, and from there you want to just run north and you'll reach the dwarf area you can buy the cannon from. You'll find in this little, I don't know, dwarf village thing you'll find a ladder which you can go down and this will bring you into the dwarven mine and I didn't actually mention this in my mining guide but I've later found out that there is a summoning obelisk right next to the rope here so if you're travelling back from Falador and you haven't got full summoning points it's really easy to just charge it here and then you can head down summon whatever familiar you have with you. Climbing down this rope uh, just brings you to the living rock caverns and you're straight away ready to do some fishing. In the centre of the Living Rock Caverns you will find a pulley system. Now this works just like a deposit box, so you won't be able to withdraw everything, so make sure you bring everything you need with you before you get here. The three recommended fishing locations I use I'll highlight on the screen. If you use World 84, there will be so many other people fishing that you can just follow the crowd. There will be a ton of people fishing here, trust me. But first, before we crack into this fishing, it's pretty important that you know how the summoning skill can benefit your fishing if you have trained that skill already. Now there are a whole bunch of Beast of Burden familiars you can choose from. You can see these all on the screen at the moment. But if you're 99 summoning or whatever, you can go ahead and use a pack yak. I think it's level 96 you need to summon that. But if you can't use one of those, I would really recommend you use a familiar which adds an invisible boost to your fishing level. So this is just basically going to boost your XP per hour. The granite crab which requires level 16 will last 18 minutes and boost your level by 1. You know, not really worth it. The ibis is the next one up and it requires level 56. This one will last 38 minutes sorry, and it will boost your fishing level by 3. The best familiar to use here is the granite lobster. It will require your summoning to be level 74 and it will last 47 minutes and boost your fishing level by 4. I really think Jagex should add another familiar in here which has even better stats than the Granite Lobster because the mining skill has four boosting familiars but you know fishing only has three. All these familiars will forage extra fish while you're fishing um, which helps for extra profit while you're fishing here. So I think we're finally ready to do some fishing and since I'm over level 90 fishing I chose to test rock tails and the equipment I said before, well, as you can see on the screen here, I, if you right click a, sp a fishing spot, it will, you know, tell you whether it's cave fish or rock tails. So that's really helpful if you're looking for it. And as I said earlier, the equipment you'll need to bring for rock tail is a fishing rod and living minerals. Um, if you're just doing cave fish, you'll only need uh, normal bait. So just remember that and try and get it right. You can get these living minerals 
by killing the level 120 and 140 living rock protectors and once you've killed one of these the body will lie on the ground and you'll be able to mine the actual body of the monster you've just killed and by doing that you'll get a whole bunch of these living rock minerals I think it's 73 mining you need to do this these living minerals are tradable so if you don't want to do that you can just go to the Grand Exchange and buy them, that's, that's what I did and a word of warning, these monsters are really dangerous and especially the 140s which will throw goddamn rocks at you so it's really important you use World 84 that's the home world for the living rock caverns and there'll be so many miners here they should all keep the living rock protectors pretty distracted you know so I, I mean I don't think I was hit at all while fishing here if you are a level 3 um, it's perfectly okay to fish here I do see a lot of level 3's here but I would recommend you know wearing nothing or really cheap armor because if one of these things hits you I'd say you're pretty much going to be dead and you know it's pretty easy to run back without risking anything and you know picking up what you had in your inventory from your grave um, and I'm not sure how many level 3's actually watch my guides so if you're level 3 please leave me a comment and I'll make sure to include more skill or tips in my guides or something and uh, I don't know if you guys can read it but I'm looking on my Vegas preview box just now and the text is really small but I got recognized by a guy here called It's Mohawk while I was filming this video so you know a shout out to you It's Mohawk if you're watching this video now but um I worked out some experience rates per hour here um, these are coming from my level 94 fishing and I worked out about 40 to 50k fishing experience per hour and that's on rock tails along with 330 to 340k cash per hour and that's when you sell the fish and I decided to compare this with barbarian heavy rod fishing it's you know roughly the same experience and I worked out barbarian fishing is roughly 40 to 45k per hour but maybe if you don't cut the fish when you're heavy rodding you may be able to get faster experience doing that but when you're fishing here you're going to be getting you know 300k profit per hour and I'd say that pretty much makes up for it also comparing this spot to fly fishing the maximum experience I've ever had with fly fishing and dropping the fish would be around 45k per hour when you fish at Shiloh Village, or is it Shiloh Village? I don't know. You bank the fish there. I I worked out around 40k experience per hour. So I would say that fishing rock tails is better than that. And you're making so much more money. I don't see any reason why you would fly fish anyway unless you were free to play. And remember, if you've got a familiar, you can right click it and use the withdraw feature. And as you can see, there's a huge big pile of granite lobsters sitting right next to me so when you're at the bank you can right click the summoning icon at the right hand side of your screen you know under your run energy percent and you can just right click that and I think there's a, a selection button for withdraw beast BOB which stands for beast of burden and that puts everything in your inventory which the granite lobster holds so each time you're banking just remember to do that the granite lobster gave me a whole bunch of sharks and swordfish which added a fair bit to my profit over the fishing period and that pretty much brings me to the end of the video and I've spent quite a while editing this so uh, you know I'd really appreciate if you could return the favor and maybe rate the video or I don't know favorite or whatever but um yeah I'll see you guys in my next video thanks